I hope you've all got your quiz minds on for today. Um, so today's just a random one. We're going to have three rounds of just random, different questions, hoping to give you all a chance. Um, so just another quick one. I have put a link in the Zoom chat. And basically in that link is if you would like to stay in touch with us after this so we can let you know when we're going to start doing the quizzes again, please just go onto that and fill out the form as we can't take your details otherwise. I hope you're all really excited for today. So I'm just going to wait literally about a minute or so and we'll get going. How have you all been? Have you all had a good week? Also, guys, if you can give me a few ideas for next week, that would be absolutely brilliant. As you know, it's our last quiz, so I want us to go out with a proper bang. I can actually see the chat box this time, so any messages are welcomed. Let me just admit a few more and we'll be getting off. Thank you, Just Jeff. Just John, are you on top form again today? I feel like those marble questions were made for you. Right, so what time are we on? Two minutes past eight, so I'm going to start the round and get going, guys. So bear with me. The game code is 1122. Sorry, guys, that's completely my fault. The game code is 1122. Let me know when you're all on OK so I know that we can get going. Didn't give much time then, did I? Ignoring this awkward silence while I wait for you all to do it. You're more than welcome not to be. You're more than welcome. I'm going to assume all you guys are on now and we're going to go straight into question one on round one. So all put your thinking hats on. Let's go. So, oh, it's blurred. That's a new one. Okay, so question one is what American 3D computer animated musical released in 2016 featured the voices of Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake? Ooh, that's a hard one, guys. I'm trying to think if I actually know the answer. Right, so what American 3D computer animated musical released in 2016 Features the voices of Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake. I'm going to start the timer now. Oh, I do love Justin Timberlake, me. I think I've just clicked what it is, but we shall see. It's quite a hard question. Let's have a look. So we got four correct answers. Oh, I've just saw the answer. And the answer is... Trolls! Well done to anybody who got that correct. I absolutely love that movie and did not click. So who's going to be the fastest correct answer on the first question? Just John. Well done, Just John. I see you're back in full form. Well done, Just John. On to the next one. We shall see. Honestly, I don't know how you guys knew it was Charles. I actually didn't have a clue. So, if you were cycling along the infamous Yungus, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, guys, also known as Death Road, what country would you be in? Would it be A, Chile, B, Paraguay, C, Argentina, or D, Bolivia? So, if you were cycling along the infamous Jungus Road, is that right? I have no clue. Also known as Death Road, what country would you be in? A, Chile, B, Paraguay, C, Argentina, or D, Bolivia? Because all I know is I would not want to be cycling down that road. I don't know about you guys, but no, thank you. The dancing to this has started again. Right, so we have 
Five correct answers. You guys are pretty knowledgeable on this one then. And the answer is, oh, well, yeah, the answer is Bolivia. How did you go? Oh, Top Gear. Is that how you knew? Thank you, Just John. I've only watched a couple of Top Gear episodes, not that much. Let's see you got it in the correct time. Then I've got a feeling it's you, Just John, seeing as the fact you were so sure. Just John, well done. Clearly a Top Gear fan. Right, okay, on to the next one, guys. Wait for it to load, as always. So, on which part of the body would you wear your pampooties? Is it A, head, B, arms, C, waist, or D, feet? On which part of the body would you wear your pampooties? Is it A, head, B, arms, C, waist, and D, feet. I really need to grow up seeing the fact this question made me laugh so much. Pam pooties. I have never heard the word. If you guys get this right, you're all just incredibly intelligent, and that's why you're at Wolverhampton. Let's see. Eight correct answers. How did you guys even know this? And the correct answer is feet. Well done, guys. D, feet. Honestly. <laughs> Pampooties. What even are pampooties? Are they socks? I don't know. Okay, so the fastest correct answer is not to be. Well done, not to be. That was brilliant going. I've no clue how you knew this. I don't know if I should be worried that you do. <laughs> Very random. Next question. So let's see. Also, guys, can you please tell me what pampooties are? I'm baffled. Right, so. Oh, thank you. They're Irish shoes. Thank you, not to be. I've never heard of them. So I think there's somebody on SAS who dares wins who might do Irish. Oh, I don't know, actually. Right, okay. Who is the sports per who is this sports person? Let me show the picture. It's just loading, guys. Oh, that's a tough one. Okay, um, so again, who is this sports person? Let's start the timer. I feel like I can take a guess of what sport, but then I might be completely wrong. I'm not sure if that's even a sport. Right, and we have no correct answers, which is fair enough, guys. The answer is... Frankie Dettori. I don't know what that noise was. Is that what Frankie Dettori is involved in? I thought he might be Formula One because of the outfit, but honestly, didn't have a clue. On to the next question. This is question five. A stellate, stellate object is shaped like what? A stellate object is shaped like what? I'm going to start the timer, guys. Let's see. We have six correct answers. So you guys know what you're talking about here. Is it a stellar? I don't know. Okay, so the correct answer is star. So whoever got that right is a star. Cheesy, I know. Right, let's see who got it in the fastest correct time. Not to be, oh, not to be, you're doing well today. You're pushing on. Well done, not to be. You truly are a star. Let's go on to the next one. So, in March 2013, 17-year-old Londoner Nick Deloisio sold which app to Yahoo for $30 million? In March 2013, 17-year-old Londoner Nick de Alosio sold which app to Yahoo for 30 million? I honestly think they just put questions in here that they know I'm not going to be able to read. Let's start the timer. Oh, 
Oh, we have two correct answers here. Let's see what the answer is. And the answer is Sunley, making him one of the youngest self-made millionaires. I have honestly never heard of that before. I don't know about you guys, but that one got me. So the fastest correct answer is a news app, is it not to be? I'd honestly not heard of it. Let's see. Just John. Well done, Just John. Coming back. Honestly, not too sure on that one not to be. I would have to have a look. Let's go on to the next one. Oh, this is one I actually know. Way. Let's see when it wants to show. In the film, Bend It Like Beckham. No, oh, the film Bend It Like Beckham was first written in the 1980s and was originally going to be called Bend It Like Beardsley. Is this A, true or B, false? The film Bend It Like Beckham was first written in the 1980s and was originally going to be called Bend It Like Beardsley. Is this A, true or B, false? Honestly, don't think that would have gone as nice to you. <laughs> Bend it like Beardsley. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, we have seven correct answers here, guys. Let's see what the answer is. And of course, it's B, false. Well done, guys. And let's see who scored the goal with the fastest correct answer. Tam, well done, Tam. I feel like I haven't saw you up here before. Smashing it, Tam. Well done. On to the next one. I'll have to show you guys my hamsters one of the times, but they're not quite sure what they're up to at the moment. I know you guys like pets. Right, let's go to the next one. Let me just see what that is. Two seconds, guys. Sorry about that. Right, so who designed Madonna's famous pointed corset for the Blonde Ambition Tour in 1990? So who designed Madonna's famous pointed corset for the Blonde Ambition Tour in 1990? I'm going to start the timer. Say a little prayer. And you might, oh, God, say a little prayer. Is it by Madonna, is it? <laughs> It's just like a prayer. <laughs> At least I didn't give you a rendition then, guys. You've never been able to think. Okay, so we have three correct answers. Well done, guys. Oh, I'm sure this guy makes perfume. The correct answer is Jean-Paul Gaultier. Or is that watches? Jean-Paul Gaultier. Hello to our new person that's just joined. So, who got this in the fastest correct answer? Tam. Oh, Tam, you're doing really well. Oh, not to be. I hate that. I do that all the time, literally all of the time. Right, let's go on to the next one. On brand. Right. Oh, I love these ones. Who is the hip hop star? Who is this hip hop star as pictured in his high school yearbook? So, who is this hip hop star as pictured in his high school yearbook? The picture's coming up now, guys. I'm really bad at these. I'd hate to see my high school yearbook. Oh, I'm going to start the timer. I think I can get this one. I think. Dancing again. So, oh, I don't think that's the correct person. Okay, so we have five correct answers, guys. And the correct answer is Ice Cube. Now, what does Ice Cube sing? Oh, well, rap. Mm. I'm showing the fact that I have terrible music knowledge right there. And the fastest correct answer is Tam. Oh, Tam, you're going strong. 
Well done, Tam. Bear with me a minute, guys. I'm just admitting somebody else. Right. Well done, Tam. Tam is on a roll not to be. She's definitely on a roll. Well done. Right, just waiting for it to load. You're more than welcome, Tam. So, with which country cricket club would you associate the overseas players, Viv Richards, Mah Mahid Khan and Michael Krasprowicz and Wakar Yunis? Please, I apologise for my pronunciations. I mean, you guys who've been with me last week and the week before, no, I'm not great. With which country quick cricket club would you associate the OC players Viv Richards, Mahid Khan, Michael Kasprowicz and Wakar Yunis? Let's start the timer. Yeah, hi to the new people that are joining. It's brilliant to have you here. For our little quizzing community. Right then. So, there's no correct answers. Do not blame you guys. The correct answer is Glam Morgan. Glam Morgan. Okay, on to the next one. We'll put that question behind us, shall we? Let's see. Two seconds, guys. All right, so it's just loading. Aloha, I love that just Jeremy. When this wants to work. Bear with me guys, we're having it's having an argument with me at the moment. Sorry about this. Right, I'm gonna have to skip that question as it doesn't seem to want to work. So we'll just go on to the next one. Technology. So, which former teacher became Archbishop of Cape Town in 1986? Which former teacher became Archbishop of Cape Town in 1986, guys? I'm going to start the timer. Also, guys, pop in the chat box any ideas of things that you might want to happen for the last quiz next week. It would be brilliant to hear from you. So we have six correct answers. Well done, guys. You knew this. And the answer is Desmond Tutu. Well done, guys. Now, let's see who got this in the quickest time. This is a hard one. Last week, I was judging it. This week, I'm really not too sure. I mean, I'd like to put my eggs in Tam's basket, but we shall see. Let's have a look. Oh, Mia Faye. Well done, Mia Faye. Awesome. Loving this this week, guys. Never knowing who's going to be there. All right, on to the next question. And it is, which children's TV programme featured a half-sized replica of a late 1920s Austin 7 convertible? Which children's TV programme featured a half-sized replica of a late 1920s Austin 7 convertible, guys. Ooh, let's see. Start the timer. I don't feel like it's as dancey this time, or is it when it gets to the end? No. <laughs> right, okay. So we have seven correct answers there, guys. Very well done. No clue how you know these. You're all so smart. Right. And the correct answer is B, Brom. Well done, guys. Well done. Who got this in the fastest correct answer is... Just Jeff. Well done, Just Jeff. You're sneaking in as well. This is a very even game at the moment, isn't it? I feel like these questions are either you know them or you don't at the moment, and most of them I do not. <laughs> right, on to the next one, guys. So, which English palace is this? Is it A, Buckingham, B, Kensington, C, 
Blenheim, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, guys, and D. Lambeth. So which English palace is this? Is it A, Buckingham, B, Kensington, C, Blenheim, or D, Lambeth? <laughs> Just Jeff. I don't think I ever watched Brum Just Jeff. I really don't. Right, guys, time is going. I think, I've been to Kensington Palace, I'm sure. I'm sure my parents will talk me to Lambeth, but I'm not... I don't know. Right, let's see. Oh, so we have seven correct answers, guys. Well done. You all knew this. The answer is Lambeth. Well done. Let's see if you've got it in the fastest correct time. Just Jeremy. Well done, Just Jeremy. This is so even. I am loving it. Right then, so who's going to get it next, guys? Put your thinking caps on. Just waiting for it to load. Uh, no to be. I've never seen Mayo and Mayo. I was brought up on things like Zack and Cody and oh, Recess. The clay. No, what is this? Okay, which, I'm going to go on to the question, which ocean's name comes from the Latin word for peace? Which ocean name comes from the Latin word for peace? I'm going to start the timer. I just want to sing Moana now, just because I've heard ocean. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, eight correct answers. You guys were good at this. So let's have a look. The correct answer is Pacific, and it says pack slash pack. Pacificus equals peacemaking. Oh, that's actually really interesting. I like that. Right, who got it in the fastest correct time? I'm going to say just Jeff for this one. Let's have a look. Oh, not to be. Well done, not to be. Killing it. I've no clue how you knew the answer to that, but you're brilliant for knowing it. Let's get on to the next one. So this is question 16. Right, what shape gives its name to the process of multiplying a number by itself? What shape gives its name to the process of multiplying a number by itself? Sorry guys, I've said that really smugly because I actually know the answer. I didn't know the answer to any of the others. Oh my gosh, you got the answer wrong. Okay, so there's seven correct answers, guys. And the answer is square. Well done. I honestly thought it was Q. I was certain. I was smug. But well done, guys. You all knew that. Let's see who got it in the fastest time, shall we? To be. Well done, to be. Great to see you. I like the music that come on for you, to be. That was good. On to the next one. I can't believe it wasn't cube. Got it. Right, the wallet loads. So, oh, thank you, Mia Faye. Cube is multiplying it by itself three times. Thank you, Mia Faye. I honestly thought that I was right. Well, at least I've learned. You guys are so smart. Okay, so the next question is, due to its high durability and resistance to corrosion, which chemical element with the atomic number 82 was used by the Romans for water piping? So due to its high durability and resistance to corrosion, which chemical element with the atomic number 82 was used by the Romans for water piping? That is a mouthful of a question. Let's see if you guys know the answer. Have a little dance. Oh, six correct answers. Well done, guys. That's about half of you. Let's see what the answer is. Lead. Well done, guys. 
<laughs> well done. Let's see. I love the fake clapping and applause. It's brilliant. Okay. So what's the fastest correct answer? Let's see. Mia Faye. Well done, Mia Faye. Smashing it. Let's go on. Mia Faye, it seems you have knowledge in every area. Let's go on to the next one. So... Why is this one doing the same thing as the last one? Bear with me, guys. I have an argumentative screen. Ah, that makes sense, Mia Faye. You're smart. <laughs> Very smart. Right, I'm going to have to skip 18 again. I'm really sorry, and I will have this figured out. I promise you all. I'm not sure what it's doing. But so, question 19, pictured here, let's put the picture on, pictured here, Crossbow House in Slough appears in the opening credits to which BBC sitcom? So pictured here, Crossbow House in Slough appears to the opening credits to which BBC sitcom? Let's start the timer. I'm interested in this one, guys. I'm invested. Surely I'll know BBC sitcoms. Let's see. Ooh, seven correct answers. Now, this was one you wanted a round on last week, and I couldn't find enough questions. The correct answer is The Office. Well done, guys. Well done. Now, I'm going to say... I I can't remember who asked for the office because I would definitely say they'd be the fastest time. But let's have a look. To be. Well done, to be. I love the music for you. You have a little dance to it. Well done, to be. On to the next one, which is the last one in this round. And it's. Oh, let's put it up. I nearly told you before it was there. Which jump in the Grand National shares its name with a piece of furniture? Is it A, cabinet, B, table, C, chair, or D, walk-in wardrobe? A bit of Narnia there. Which jump in the Grand National shares its name with a piece of furniture? A, cabinet, B, table, C, chair, or D, walk-in wardrobe, guys? I'm going to start the timer. To be, I've not watched it much yet. I know... I know it's meant to be really good, but I feel like I've only caught a couple of episodes. I'll have to watch it because I've run out of good shows now. Right. So we have five correct answers. And the correct answer is C, chair. Well done, anyone who got that. Brilliant. The fastest correct answer was Kelly. Well done, Kelly smashing it okay guys so that question brings us to the end of the round so it has just saved i'm going to go on to round two we'll have a break at round at the end of this round sorry right so let's see you would like to see scores is that? Oh, of course you can see scores let me get them up for you uh, bear with me not to be they're coming up now uh, so here are the scores just john in first place 67 mia Fay second 58 tan 55 just jeff it's not shameful to be not shameful at all honestly i've been trying to guess the answers to some of these and i haven't got a clue so you're all doing brilliant not to be 47, to be 38, just Jeremy 37 and Kelly 37. Oh, but a cup of tea is important to be. And just Jeremy, remember there's two more rounds. There is enough time to bring this back. That was only round one. Only round one. Don't worry. Let's get back to it. Do you mean just John never wins? Right. <laughs> Got a little battle going on in the chat here. Appreciate it. I'm going to put up the first question. 
for round two. So in which year did the last capital punishment executions take place in the UK prior to the abolition, abolition of the death penalty for murder? Was it A, 1944, B, 1954, C, 1964, or D, 1974? So in which year did the last capital punishment executions take place in the UK prior to the abolition of the death penalty for murder? Is it A, 1944, B, 1954, C, 1964, or D, 1974? I feel like it would be criminal for me to make a joke. Sorry, guys, that was absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. Right, guys, let's see. So we have seven correct answers. Very well done to you guys. And the correct answer is C, 1964. Well done. Well done, guys. So let's see who the fastest correct answer was. To B. Well done, To B. I love dancing to your song. I don't know if you all have different songs, but To B, yours seems to be the best if you do. Right, you can tell the nightclubs have been shut for a long time now. Right, loading up the next question. Let's see. So in physics, what does heat transfer radiation through? Is it A, direct contact, B, electromagnetic waves, C, atmospheric current, or D, molecule, molecular, what on earth, and electronic collisions? In physics, what does heat transfer radiation through? Is it A, direct contact, B, electromagnetic waves, C, atmospheric current, or D, molecule and electronic collisions? If that's right. And not to be, I think I might have to be at this rate. <laughs> I really like that tune. Let's see. I feel like you guys are going to be good at this one. So we have four correct answers and the answer is electromagnetic waves. Well done and thank you to me. I appreciate that. Let's see who got it in the fastest time. Who was like flash on this one? Not to be. Well done. Well done not to be. See, you're coming back fighting my hamster decided to drink some water during this delightful anyone who's ever had hamsters know they decide to drink their water at the strangest of times whenever you're doing anything right so the next question is in the summer olympics how many runners participate in the final of the 100 meter sprint so in the summer olympics how many runners participate in the final of the 100 meter sprint let's get that timer going who's going to sprint to the finish line guys absolutely awful again i apologize for my jokes let's see oh no correct answers this must have been a tough one the actual correct answer was eight guys at least you know that one for next time and i've just realized that noise is the flushing of a toilet how rude on to the next one we're gonna get this one guys let me see so which veteran comedian and actor has released dvds of stand-up shows entitled erect for 30 years and bite your bum which veteran comedian and actor has released DVDs of stand-up shows entitled Erect for 30 Years and Bite Your Bum? Right, I'm going to start the timer. Sorry, guys, I am considering I'm 28. I'm incredibly childish. Let's see who wrote the DVDs Erect for 30 Years and Bite Your Bum. <laughs> right, okay, let's see. So we have four correct answers and actually this is a comedian that i'm sure my dad really likes um i'm gonna the correct answer is billy Connolly. well done guys that got that right well done let's see who got it in the fastest correct time 
Not to be. Well done, not to be. See, you're doing brilliant there. This is your round, I feel. Right, on to the next one. I can't believe I laughed so much at that question. I just cannot help myself. Right. Oh, sorry not to be. Sorry, I keep getting not to be and to be mixed up. I was going to say you're doing really well, but to be is doing well as well. Right, so the next question is, who is this? Is it A, Miguel, B, The Weekend, C, Frank Ocean, or D, Quabs? Who is this? Is it A, Miguel, B, The Weekend, C, Frank Ocean, or D, Quabs? I'm going to start the timer. I don't know if it's actually said Miguel, but I really like the sound of Miguel. And not to be and to be, I'm guessing you're playing together, maybe, or friends. Right, so we have five correct answers. And the correct answer is Frank Ocean. Well done, guys, for knowing that. Well done. Tam, Tam's back. She's back in the lineup. Well done, Tam. Right, on to the next one. Let's see. So which of these places in Yorkshire, oh no, that's a terrible Yorkshire accent, is a town rather than a city? Is it A, Wakefield, B, Ripon, C, Kingston upon Hull, D, Con Doncaster. Which of these places in Yorkshire is a town rather than a city? Is it A, Wakefield, B, Ripon, I don't know if it's Ripon, C, Kingston upon Hull, or D, Doncaster? I cannot do a Yorkshire, I can't do any accent to be honest with you guys, but especially not Yorkshire. Oh, we have six correct answers here. Well done, six correct answers. The correct answer is Doncaster. Well done to anyone that knew that. Well done. Let's see who got it in the fastest correct time. Not to be, oh, not to be. You are smashing this round. It's safe to say. Come on, just John. Come on, just Jeff. Where are you all at? Let's go. <laughs> That's just made me laugh. Not to be. Was that you? I think it was. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so which football club has won the six of the last eight League Cup finals? Which football club has won six of the last eight League Cup finals? Oh, let's see. <laughs> Not to be, you have made me chuckle there. Ooh, we have one correct answer. So we've got one football fan in the room. Let's see what the answer was. And it was Manchester City in 2014, 2016, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. I mean, I'm not a Man City fan, so I can't cheer this on. The fastest correct answer was Kelly. Kelly, are you a football fan, I assume? Well done, Kelly. On to the next one. This is question eight, guys. I would have done exactly the same there. I definitely would have got it mixed up. I think it was Leicester that won that the other day. Right. So the ro oh, Alton Towers. I love Alton Towers. Okay. So the roller coaster at Alton Towers, formerly known as Air, has been renamed what? Is it A, Galactica? B, Invader, C, Asteroid, or D, Thunder. So the roller coaster at Alton Towers, formerly known as Air, has been renamed what? A, Galactica, B, Invader, C, Asteroid, or D, Thunder. I was literally only on this ride two weeks ago. One of the best rides at Alton Towers. I think, I mean, let me know what, what, what rides you think, guys, but I think it's got to be 
one of the best that and smiler 100 percent. right so we got eight correct answers well done guys eight correct answers and the answer is of course galactica well done guys i mean it normally has that vr doesn't it but they've took that off at the moment because of covid it's a brilliant ride just absolutely brilliant if not i always feel like i'm gonna fall flat on my face i don't know about you guys but i think that's the point of it right the fastest correct answer was kelly oh kelly you're doing really well now well done kelly on to the next one oh there's just another picture one here guys i don't know if you can hear that hamster look at this loud it's now decided its wheel is the perfect time right so name the artist the picture is loading guys oh come on <laughs> sorry guys i mean i feel like this one is is yeah i mean if i'm wrong I'm going to be gutted, but I think this one's quite obvious. Let's start the timer. No offence to anybody that doesn't know this. I hope you don't lose yourself in this question. Some of you might know what I did there. It was terrible, but I did it anyway. <laughs> On to the next one. Eminem. Sorry, guys. I forgot to click it. You had eight correct answers. And, of course, the answer is Eminem. I would have really been good if it had been something completely different then. To be, I really don't think he thought it was One Direction. The fastest correct answer is Just John. I had a feeling it was going to be you, Just John. I don't know why, I just did. And I feel like that's the better way to spell it, Just Jeremy, 100%. All right. Oh, we have a marble question here, guys. So we had a good bit of practice for this last week. I love a good M&M, Mia. Love it. Okay, so which Marvel actress won the MTV Generation Award at the recent MTV Movie and TV Awards? Which Marvel actress won the MTV Generation Award at the recent MTV Movie and TV Awards? Ooh, let's start the timer. I don't know if I'd know this. I, I think you guys might after last week. You all did brilliant on the Marvel one. Let's see. Four correct answers. Well done to those four. The correct answer was Scarlett Johansson. Well done, guys. And the person that got it in the fastest correct time was... Mia Faye, well done. Oh, Mia Faye, you've got like a Disney tune. That's a full-on Disney tune you've got going for your name. All right, I like that. On to the next one. I'm really gutted I missed your Disney quiz, guys. I would have been made for that. I don't know if you saw all the little Disney stuff behind me, but there's a picture of Space Mountain and all sorts. Cannot help it. All right. Why is some of these questions not working? Could somebody explain that? Oh, do they not not to be? I was wondering what was going on. That makes me feel a bit better. I thought I'd done something wrong. I think there's a bonus question, so we can chuck that in at some point. Yeah, I'm having that problem. I'll chuck the bonus question as well so that we are not missing out on time let's see thank you again so common water and pygmy are types of what mammal common water and pygmy are types of what mammal i'm going to start the timer guys i think pygmy is the clue here i feel like this is the one that's going to tell you what mammal it is right so the correct answer oh okay so four correct answers guys and the answer is true well done guys because i was certain that you have something called a pygmy hedgehog i'd heard of a pygmy hedgehog i'm sure that you know it looked looks a bit like a niffler if any of you are harry potter fans but apparently pygmy hedgehog i'm gonna look for that on the break right on to the next one. Oh, sorry no the fastest correct answer is mia Fey. yes i get the disney tune again well done mia Fey. on to the next one honestly thought it was a pygmy hedgehog 
I was even moving it to someone that's in the living room. Pygmy hedgehog. But no. Okay. Right. So. In physics, what is the unit of acceleration? Is it A, metres, B, seconds, C, metres per second, or D, metres per second squared? In physics, what is the unit of acceleration? Is it A, metres, B, seconds, C, metres per second, or D, metres per second squared? Right, I'm going to start the timer, guys. I feel like, ooh. No, the one I thought it could be isn't there. Let's see. Ooh, does John study physics? We'll soon find out, I feel. So the answer is meters per second squared. Five correct answers here, guys. Very well done to you. And let's see who got it in the fastest time. Just John. Just John definitely studied physics. Well done, just John. Very well done. So on to the next one. Let's see. An important fashion item in the 15th and 16th centuries was what is the name for the pouch this guy is wearing? Let's see this pouch, shall we? Okay, so it's loading. Oh, wow. An important fashion item in the 15th and 16th centuries. What is the name for the pouch this guy is wearing? I have never seen one of those before. Right, let's start the timer. I'm thinking of all sorts of names here now, guys. Some that I probably know. Right, let's see. Never saw that before. And I'm a history student, by the way. Well, I studied history and war studies. Let's see. Oh, we have two correct answers. And the correct answer is a cod piece. Well done, guys. Well done to those two, especially. And honestly, who didn't get that? Do not blame you. Let's see what the who got it in the quickest time. Mia Fay. Mia Fay. Just yeah. Right. Okay. Well done, Mia Fay. That was I've no clue. That was brilliant. Right. On to the next one. This is question fifteen, guys. Question fifteen. So just yeah. Right. So James Treadwell was an England international in what sport? James Treadwell was an England international in what sport? Let's have a look. I don't know what accent that was, guys. You have to roll with them. Oh, so we have eight correct answers. Well done, guys. Very well done. The answer is C, cricket. Well, I've never watched cricket. I don't think I even know how to play it. Right, let's see who got this in the fastest time. Mm. Not to be. Well, not to be, you're doing absolutely amazing at the moment, aren't you? Absolutely smashing it. So, oh, yay, we've got a Disney question. I might even sing it, guys. Are you ready? Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo is a song in which Disney film? I think that was absolutely terrible. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo is a song in which Disney film? Am I even doing that tune right? Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. No, I probably. <laughs> yeah, Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. I've got it stuck in my head now. I love Disney. Right, so we have eight correct answers. You guys know your Disney. And of course, the correct answer is C, Cinderella. Well done. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. I can't remember the rest of it there because I've got that stuck in my head. Okay, so the fastest correct answer is Just Jeff. Well done, Just Jeff. Love a Disney fan. Well done. On to the next one. This is question number 17. Let's see. A police protection officer was suspended from duty in September last year after leaving his gun on a plane. Which British cabinet minister had he been travelling with? 
a police protection officer was suspended from duty in September last year after leaving his gun on a plane. Which British cabinet minister had he been travelling with? I'm going to start the time because that is a big mistake, to be fair. But, I mean, mistakes happen. But, I mean, it's a gun. I've left my passport on there once. Let's see. Right, so six correct answers here. And the answer is, little drum roll, Dominic Rab. Dominic Rab. So let's see who got this in the fastest correct time. To be, yay! I get a dance to your music again. Well done, to be. Brilliant. <laughs> oh no. Did you not to be? I think I think she definitely I got to dance to the music though. <laughs> I think to be is loving her life. Right, so we've got another one of those questions that doesn't work. I'm going to have to sort this out for you guys for next week. Thank you to be. Love the music. I'm going to sort out this question problem next week. Right, so let's see. We're on to question 19. Question 19. So we'll have a break after keeping my mouth shut now. Not to be. <laughs> right, I'm loving this. Okay, so... Pictured here before she was famous, name the TV cook. Pictured here before she was famous, name the t Oh, I think I know that that is. Name the TV cook. Let's start the timer. Oh, let's see. Yes, I did actually. Six correct answers. Very well done, guys. And the answer is Nigella Lawson. Well done, guys, that knew that. Very well done. And the fastest correct answer was Just Jeff. Well done, Just Jeff. Smashing it. You guys are all doing really well today on the fastest answers. You're doing great. Right, on to the last question of this round. Let's load it. Right, so the Harajuku girls were the backing dancers to which singer who was popular in the mid-2000s? The Harajuku girls were the backing dancers to which singer who was popular in the mid-2000s? Let's start the timer, guys. I'm wondering who this is. So we have four correct answers, and I can't actually think of a song by this artist, but she's done loads. The correct answer is Gwen Stefani. Well done to any of you that got that correct. And the fastest correct answer was Mia Fey. Yes, the Disney music. Loving it. Sounds like you're at a parade. Okay, guys, so we've reached the end of that round now. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a small break and we will reconvene at five past, if that's all right. If any of you have got any questions, just pop them in the box. I'm just going to turn my camera off for a minute. Um, and also, please come out with ideas for next week. I want it to be as fun as as fun as fun I can make it for you. Of course, you can see the scores not to be. I will pop them up now for you. Um, and I just want us to have a really good quiz. I want us to go out with a blast. I'm going to put them on for you now. Um, to be, it's the last quiz just because it's the end of the semester then. So we're wrapping up, but we will be coming back. There is a form in the chat if you have a look. If you just fill that out, we'll be able to contact you as soon as the quizzes are restarting because I'd love to have you all back. Types of birds, just Jeremy. I'm sure we could have a look into that. Maybe I could put some questions in there. That's fine not to be. I'll put it in at the end then so we can carry on chatting and then the link will be there right at the very end for you. Is that all right? Periodic elements. I don't think I'd even understand the questions. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave for literally five minutes and we will be back going at <laughs> your comments, literally. 
We've done Hunger Games not to be. We did Hunger Games last week. We did a whole round on it. Yeah, we did a whole round on Hunger Games last week. I'm so sorry. So sorry, guys. I'll try and add a few Hunger Games questions in for you, though. Right, I am just going on break, and then I'll be back. Horror movies was just one.
back on everything. Right, I'm just going to give it one more minute and then we'll get started on the next round. The next round, let's see. The next round, for some reason, says evil mode, so I do apologise if these questions are incredibly hard. Would you guys like to see a really cute hamster? Or are you guys not that into hamsters? If so, let me know because there's one waiting to be seen. I know you guys like to see pets, you see. Oh, okay, guys. Right, let me get him. I oh, will show you her if she wants to show her face. Come on. Here we have Buzz. I'm not sure how well you guys can see her, but this is the beautiful Buzz, obviously named after Disney. There's a few else. Buzz, I've got Buzz and I've got Sully, so Sullivan, but Sully's way too quick to get out for the camera. But she's a little sweetheart. I'm absolutely obsessed with her. Oh, she jumped. Right, so now I've shown you the most adorable hamster in the world. Honestly, to be, Sully can be like that. She's, she's very interesting, whereas Buzz is very friendly. But Sullivan is the one that I haven't got out. I, I got told that they were both uh, boys, and then they turned out to be girls. <laughs> Not to me, you don't even live with your hamster. Right, I'm going to start the next round. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's start it. You girls crack me up. Co-parenting, I love it. Co-parenting of the hamster. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, on with the first question whilst I giggle at you guys is, in which city was Singer B. York born? So, in which city was Singer B. York born? I am going to start the timer. Let's see, you guys. I love how you guys know what these things mean, like with this mean section. Read that as country. Did I read? Oh, did I? Or did, oh, right. Okay, I'm not even going to be able to say this. Okay, so we have five correct answers. Oh, I thought it was me. <laughs> we have five correct answers, and the answer is... Rick Chavavi. Rick Chavavi. <laughs> oh, Rekovich. Is that right? Rekovich. It's better than the way I was saying it. So, uh, yay. <laughs> Thank you. Right. You guys are absolutely running this for me today. The fastest correct answer was Tam. Well done, Tam. Nice to see you back up on here. Well done, Tam. On to the next one. Question two is, uh, let's see. It's all a mystery. Which of these is not a colour of a mask worn by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Is it A, green, B, blue, C, red, D, orange, or E, purple? So which of these is not a colour of mask worn by the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Is it A, green, B, blue, C, red, D, orange or E, purple? Let's start the timer. I'm trying to think of the names of them now. I know there's Leonardo. I feel like I only know Leonardo. Let's see. Any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fans in the house? We have eight correct answers. Well done, guys. You know this one. And the correct answer is green. Well done, guys. Very well done. And the person who got this in the fastest time was Just John. Just John, you're a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Hi, you have like rock music to your name. Let's go. Right. 
bear with. So the next question is, what do you call a tree that can bear up to six different fruits? Is it A, angiosperm tree, B, fruit salad tree, C, orchard tree, or D, skittles tree? What do you call a tree that can bear up to six different fruits? Is it A, angiosperm tree, B, fruit salad tree, C, orchard tree, or D, skittles tree? Now, so all I'm thinking is of taste the rainbow, but is that just about the rainbow? Let's see. Right, so we have three correct answers, and the answer is a fruit salad tree. Now, I love the treats, did not know there is a tree named that. Oh, sorry, Mia Fane, I didn't even have time to dance. <laughs> you forgot it was an evil rain, and sorry, Mia Fane, I even missed my Disney opportunity there. So, on to the next one. You're not idiots, I would have done exactly the same. Right, so. The girl in this picture is the daughter of which English footballer? The girl in this picture is the daughter of which English footballer? Right, I'm gonna start the timer. She is absolutely adorable, let's go. I'm trying to guess this one. I can't remember who her football fan was. I think it was Kelly. Kelly, you were the football fan, wasn't you? Will you know this one? So, let's see. So, there's no correct answers here. I feel like this is a really random question. The correct answer is Raheem, ooh, Raheem Sterling. Now we're all going to have to listen to the toilet flush, guys. How rude. Right, on to the next one. Let's forget that question even happened. Oh, now I know this is something my nan suffers from, but I do not know the answer. Cataracts affects which part of the eye? So cataracts affects which part of the eye, guys? That is a hard question. Let's see if you know it. I don't know how you'd ever learn this. Right, let's see. So we have three correct answers here. So three of you knew what the answer was. And the answer is, of course, lens. I hope you like the fact that I'm pointing to my lenses right now. Thinking I'm very funny, but I'm not. The fastest correct answer was Just John. Well done, Just John. No clue how you knew that, but you're absolutely brilliant. On to question number six. Oh, this one's an interesting one. I like this one. So, St. Paul, Paul's Cathedral in London is an example of which style of architecture? Is it A, Baroque, B, Art Deco, C, Gothic, or D, Neoclassical? <coughs> so, St. Paul's Cathedral in London is an example of which style of architecture? Is it A, Baroque, B, Art Deco, C, Gothic, or D, Neoclassical? I feel like I should know this as an ex-history student, but I don't. Let's see if you guys know. I could take a guess, but I'm not sure if it'd be correct. Right, so we have seven correct answers. You guys knew this, and my guess was completely wrong. The answer is Baroque, if it's even said like that. I love how you guys seem to just know what I mean. And the fastest correct answer was, drum roll, Just Jeff. Well done, Just Jeff. That was a really hard, oh, you've got the like, classical music. Love it. On to the next one. You've all got different music. I'm not, I love that. Right. Which a British heavy metal museum, musician, not museum, <laughs> was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame this year? So which a British heavy metal museum, musician, I did it again, guys, was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? This year, I'm really struggling with that sentence. I'm not sure why. 
Right, I'm going to start the timer. I think there's a, quite a few just. So I think it's just Jeff, just John, and just Jeremy. Technical difficulties. <laughs> right, okay. So, oh, four correct answers. And the answer is somebody that was born, I'm sure he was born around here, is, oh, I went to click it and didn't, Ozzy Osbourne. Well done that anybody knew that Ozzy Osbourne. That's a terrible accent. Again, that was my Birmingham accent. It is really terrible, really terrible. And I love Peaky Blinders as well. Right, the fastest correct answer was Mia Faye. Disney music again. Yay. All about this. Well done, Mia Faye. This is so even this time, guys. Well done. Right, so. Ooh, this is interesting. Let's see. So, what is the only English anagram of the word caution? What is the only English anagram of the word caution? Let's start the timer. Let's see. Dancing again. You can tell we're in the swing of things. So, let's see. Oh, four correct answers. Very well done to you guys that got that. And the answer is, oh, I clicked the wrong button. Auction. Well done, guys. You never got that correct. Anybody who didn't is probably doing what I'm doing now. I'm thinking, that's so obvious. The fastest correct answer was Mia Fey. Yay, Mia Fey. Well done. Smashing it. On to question nine. So let's wait for it to load. So in the recent by-election, which constituency was won by the Conservatives for the first time ever? So in the recent by-election, which constitu constituency was won by the Conservatives for the first time ever? Do we have any politicians in the House? Let's see. This definitely, this, this countdown suits the question, like the news countdown. Let's see. So we have two correct answers. Very well done to you guys that got that right. The answer is Hartlepool. Hartlepool, Hartlepool. And the person who got it in the fastest time was, drum roll, 2B. Yay, 2B. Smashing it. Well done, 2B. Loving it. Loving the dance I get for that. And I'm loving the teamwork there on the group chat. So, next question. To be, you should feel very grown up. You definitely should. Okay, so name the children's TV series series based upon the DreamWorks film Madagascar. Name the children's TV series based upon the DreamWorks film Madagascar. Absolutely love Madagascar. All right, the timer's on, guys. To be, you need to feel ungrown up now to get this answer right. All right, so we have no correct answers. To be honest, <coughs> I wouldn't know the answer to this either. Excuse my cough there. The answer is, oh, I've moved it. Let's see. All hail King Julian. All hail King Julian. I don't think I've ever even watched that. I love Madagascar. Right, so we're on to question 11. <laughs> Not to be definite first world problems there. Oh, we have another one of the questions that does not want to show itself. So I'm going to go on to question 12. I think it might. <laughs> I think you're right not to be. I think it might be. <laughs> what popular British comedy drama television series is based around an angry, confused, young woman who runs a cafe on her own after her best friend was tragically killed 
So what popular British comedy drama television series is based around an angry, confused young woman who runs a cafe on her own after her best friend was tragically killed? Start the timer. I'm trying to guess this one. Comedy drama. Hmm. Have a little dance. Right. So we have six oh i love this program six correct answers and the answer is fleabag i love that i can't believe i didn't think that and the fastest correct answer is just john well done just john really you're going getting a bit of your rock music there so question 13 once again wait for it to load is what pedal would you find in a manual car but not in an automatic so what pedal would you find in a manual car but not in an automatic all the drivers here are going to know this i'm a non-driver so i don't know if it's obvious or not let's see oh i do know it let's see so we have seven correct answers here very well done guys and the answer is c clutch well done guys that is why i always stall when i tried to learn before i am a terrible driver right let's go on to the fastest correct answer to be yay to be well done dance time all right on to the next one well done to be Right, so now we are going to to be. You didn't fail this one, though. You did not fail this one. Right, let's do a name of the bands. Let's see who they are. Is it one that I can sing us a song for? Ooh, I thought it was a band, but it's not right. It's not. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not going to try that because it's probably the completely wrong band that I'm thinking of right now. So I'm going to sit here and chill. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm trying to think of a song by these guys. There's no correct answers. The answer was Sum 41. There's the toilet, guys. We're obviously not doing well there. Right, on to the next one. This next one's air question. We're all going to get this. Let's see. Oh, it's another music question here, guys. Another music. So, Mike Skinner is famously the front man for what band? Mike Skinner is famously the front man for what band? Let's start the timer, guys. Ooh, this is a hard one. Well done, guys. So we have three correct answer, and the answer is The Streets. I'm trying to think of a song by The Streets. Right. I don't know one. The fastest correct answer is Mia Fey. Disney music, Mia Fey. Let's go. Right, I need my Disney ears for this. I have so many from Disneyland, it's actually a bit ridiculous. Right, on to the next one. So, oh, this is things I'm going to struggle to say again, guys. So, I apologise. Mahu, Moritz and Estrella Dam are all beers from which European country? Mahu, Moritz and Estrella Dam are all beers from which European country? Now, I do like a beer, guys, but I've clearly not been to this country. I'm trying to think what it could be. Estrella, is that connected to Stella? Hmm? Probably not. All right. So we have five correct answers here. And I have been to this country, actually, but when I was too young to drink. The answer is Spain. Well done to anyone who got that correct. Clearly like a beer. Let's see who got it in the fastest correct time. Just Jeff. Well done, Just Jeff. Get yourself a beer in Spain next time. Now you know you got this question right. 
Right, so how are we on question 17 already? The time has just flown. Let's load this up. Set mostly in 20th century Afghanistan and now adapted into both a film and play, which best-selling 2003 novel concerns the friendship of Hassan and Amir, two boys divided by class and ethnicity. Set mostly in 20th century Afghanistan and now adapted into both a film and play, which best-selling 2003 novel concerns the friendships of Hassan and Amir, two boys divided by class and ethnicity. Let's start the timer. Who will know this film and play? I'm trying to think. Mm, let's see. This is an interesting one. Right, so we have five correct answers. Very well done to you five. Seems like something that I need to watch. The answer is the kite runner. Well done, guys. So anyone who got the kite runner, you did brilliant. Well done, guys. So the fastest correct answer was Mia Faye. Well done, Mia Faye. Absolutely smashing it. Well done, Mia. So we're on to question 18. Let's go. Guess what, guys? Question 18 is shy as well. Let's go on to question 19, which is when it loads. What band name, when typed into Google, could possibly bring up this image? Oh, I love this question. This question's brilliant, guys. What band name, when typed into Google, could possibly bring up this image? Ooh, that's a hard one, but I just love it. Let's start the timer. I know you guys will know the answer. If you don't, there's always Google. Afterwards, can I say not drawing? <laughs> Right, we have four correct answers. So, the answer is Toto. Well done to anybody that got Toto correct. Let's see who got it in the quickest time. To be, well done to be, rave time. Have we got time for one more? Let's see. So, well done to B. Let's see question number 20. What does glabrous mean? A, unglamorous, B, congested with mucus, C, smooth and hairless, or D, long and floppy? What does glabrous mean? Is it A, unglamorous, B, congested with mucus, C, smooth and hairless, or D, long and floppy? Let's start the timer. Glabrous. Never heard the word in my life. Let's see what the answer is. Have a little dance. So we have five correct answers here. And the answer is smooth and hairless. Smooth and hairless, guys. The person who got it in the fastest correct time was Mia Faye. Well done, Mia Faye. Mia Faye was multitasking there as well. Right, so I'm going to end this round. And that's just saving. And then let me see what this is. I believe that is it. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to put up the scoreboard i want to try and do it so it's a bit sneaky away from you guys so we can announce it let's see that didn't work right it's not going to work so we in first place is mia Fay. well done mia Fay. second place is tam third place is just john fourth is to be five is not to be six is kelly seventh is just jeff and eighth is just Jeremy. Let me just take a picture of these guys so I know where you're at. Mia Faye, I will be, if you can, let me think. 
Um, I need to find a way to send you your prize. What I'm going to do, Mia Faye, is I'm just going to pop my email into here. And if you can just get in, or if you can stay back after everyone else, then I can give you my email, if that's all right, Mia Faye. So I'm just going to stop sharing for a second because I'm going to give you guys um, this link. Uh, let's find it. Thank you very much, Mia Fey. I'm going to save that. And I'll oh, sorry, Mia. I didn't need to send you that directly. Uh, let's go to the chat. That, uh, no, let me, I want to do it to all. Right, so here is the link. So guys, if you want to fill out that form for me, and it basically just gives us the ability to um, send you emails when we're back up and running. Mia, I think I just missed, can I get back up to it? Let me just try and find your email there. I hope you guys have had a really good time. I'm going to have a look through the chat and see if I can find any ideas for what we can do next week. I'd like to make it quite fun because it's our last one, guys. I feel like I've been robbed not being able to do it with you guys for longer. Right. Thank you so much for an absolutely brilliant evening, guys, and we will see you next week. Film segment, I'm counting that time. Film segment, is that? Let me write that down in my little notes. Film segment. Bear with me, I was just saving that. <laughs> 